Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here and welcome back to the railway and today I've got something a little bit different for you uh, because I'm going to be revisiting the R3A train set and uh, I say uh, revisit uh, because I did about three years ago I did unbox this uh, on the channel but I didn't do a very good job of it so I thought today I would try and uh, be a little bit more professional in the unboxing so yes R3.A uh, Triang train set uh, so named uh, the three actually uh, denotes that it has series three track inside uh, which is quite cool and uh, this is a 1958 train set uh, which was released for two years uh, by Triang and uh, as you can see on the front here, <laughs> you've got uh, the father uh, having lots of fun with his two sons there, which is, I suppose is the, uh, the message they were trying to give uh, with such train sets, you know. Uh, fun for all the family, you'll, you'll spend time with your children, and uh, I suppose that's still what happens today with them. Uh, so I'm going to get this open in just a second. Let's take a quick look at the end of the box. Uh, you've got basically the same stuff, um, R3A, uh, electric model railway. Uh, the box is a little bit tatty now, to be honest, um, but you know it's uh, it's you know it's not done too bad for its age, I suppose. Uh, but still, let's let's take the lid off and uh, let's take a look at what we've got inside. So, as I noted already a minute ago, you've got uh, 14 pieces of Series Three track here. Um, uh, that's 12 curves and two straights, which makes quite a nice little oval. Um, you've got the locomotive here, and now this wouldn't be exactly the locomotive you'd get. Um, the locomotive that would have been with the set would really have been a little bit more like this. Um, it's basically the same model, but there's just a few differences. Of course, uh, this one says 7P, um, but that one's an 8P, um, but it would have actually been a 7P in the model, uh, sorry, in the train set. Um, the bogey wheels here are plastic. Uh, these are metal, but you would have got plastic ones. And uh, finally, the wheels on this one are bespoke, uh, but the ones you would have got in the set uh, would have been solid cast wheels without gaps in them with the big flanges. Uh, but I've basically just used this one today um, because it runs a lot better on modern track and we'll have a better time. Uh, same story with the tender, slightly more modern tender, but it's effectively the same moulding with just a slightly different paint job. Uh, you've also got two uh, lovely passenger coaches, uh, they're BR mainline coaches. Uh, you've got the regular corridor coach and uh, the brake coach. Uh, which go together very nicely and the other interesting feature which I will take out uh, is this battery pack um, and you would have had to connect three uh, four and a quarter cells to this and then you would control it like this so obviously this was before the time uh, where you would have had uh, you know mains controllers or whatnot and the final thing that you get which I think is quite interesting uh, is this and as you can see, it's Shell Lubricating Oil, so it's a bit of a, a sponsorship. And as you can see there, uh, specially recommended for Triang trains. And all that is, is just, you would have had oil in it, presumably. There's none in it now, but I suppose that could be rectified. Uh, but you'd just get this cork with a little piece of uh, metal sticking out of it, which you would dip in and, you know, lubricate the locomotives. Uh, a, sp a dangerous idea, I suppose. You know, there's the potential for oil to leak everywhere, but still, never mind. Okay, let's start getting some of this stuff out. I've done enough waffling. Uh, so here's the loco. As I say, uh, it is an 8P, this one is, but it's effectively the same thing. Uh, Princess Victoria, a lovely uh, Princess Royal Pacific loco in BR Black. And uh, I'll show you that in a little more detail uh, in a few moments. Um, there's also the tender, of course. Um, this tender, again, is, is one from, I think it's from the 70s. Uh, it's the same moulding exactly, uh, but I believe the livery was different. I believe this had the later crest on it from the set and uh, the lines around it as well. Uh, but still, it's not a big difference particularly. Um, so that's that. Uh, here's the coaches then. Um, you've got the first one, this is the corridor coach, uh, which is M24001. Um, you know, this has got the old wheels on it, but we'll just have to live with that. Uh, so yeah, that's not too bad. And of course, we won't forget the brake, uh, which is a very similar coat, except it's a brake, of course, and that's M34000 uh, there. Uh, again, it's quite quite good condition, I suppose, for its age. Uh, I won't bother getting the track out uh, because it's just, um, you know, not going to help very much. I'm going to run all this stuff on the main line anyway, uh, but yep, that's a piece of Series 3 track if you're interested. And uh, yep, I think that's about it then. So I'm going to very, very quickly um, show you uh, the loco and, and one of the coaches probably uh, just in a little more detail, but very quickly. And then we'll get it all running and see what you make of it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so there's the Princess Victoria then, number 46205, up against the white background. And I am just going to do a very, very quick overview of her. 
uh, because I realised I did actually <laughs> review this model um, just before Christmas I think it was or maybe a couple of months before so I will leave a link to that review at the end of this video uh, just in case you were interested in watching it but for now uh, just a very very quick overview so it's not a badly detailed model to be honest um, there's quite a lot of rivets on it as you can see uh, especially around the cab and uh, around the smoke box uh, but there's not an awful lot of separately fitted uh, detail uh, there are some turned metal buffers and uh, the safety valves um, of course, which is quite normal for a Triang model, um, but other than that it's mostly just moulded or painted detail. The Princess Victoria nameplate uh, in sort of the red and yellow uh, there uh, does stand out quite nicely from the rest of the body and of course uh, the 8P and the running number on the side of the cab there uh, are quite nicely applied uh, but apart from that it is a very simple model you know there's not um, glazed windows and there's no painted cab detail or anything such as that uh, but it is still quite a smart locomotive and I suppose this is probably the most iconic trying <laughs> locomotive um, ever to come out uh, which is probably a bit of a subjective claim but still uh, not bad um, so quite nicely detailed um, um, but again, most of it is moulded, and uh, as you can see there, um, you've just got very, very simple uh, valve gear there. There's no well shirts on there or anything, and of course, uh, the princesses in real life did have well shirts. I don't know if they all did. Um, I don't know if some of them were modified, uh, but this one uh, doesn't, as you can see. It's just, I don't know, would we call that derived motion? I'm not too sure. Um, but moving on to the tender, um, the tender again is uh, quite smart uh, but quite minimal. The coal is in fact quite finely detailed and quite realistic actually for the age. Uh, but as you can see the crest, uh, the British Railways crest is quite simple, it's just in the sort of monotone. Uh, but it is again quite nicely applied, um, you know it's very crisp. Uh, but other than that the tender is just in that sort of glossy black uh, which is quite plain uh, but it does have uh, again it does have its own style to it doesn't it it does look pretty nice uh, so yeah that's the locomotive I uh, hope you've uh, had a good chance to see her close up uh, we'll get her running in just a moment but I will just show you one of those coaches just to uh, show you the various detail on it so here it is now uh, and this is the, uh, the corridor coach uh, i.e. not the brake one and uh, as you can see there it's running number uh, 24001 and uh, you've got little number one under the door there so I suppose that means uh, first class, um, if that's what it is. But, you know, the livery really isn't too bad, is it? Uh, you know, it does seem pretty accurate, and the shade of uh, sort of maroon and custard there um, is very similar to uh, the modern coaches um, in those liveries. So they've not done a bad job there. And again, considering the age, uh, the moulding really isn't too bad. You know, you've got all the little window effects there and the, the doors, uh, which are sort of beveled outwards slightly. And uh, you've also got the little insert uh, on the inside, which gives you the sort of window effect. Uh, in terms of the wheels, you can see you've got the axles which go through, you know, right through the axle box there on the outside, uh, which is a little bit of a challenge if you want to change them, uh, but, you know, luckily this one seems not too bad. And, uh, of course, you have got some undercarriage detail as well under there, uh, which is really nice. And uh, the brake version of this is basically uh, the same, except, of course, you've just got the, the brake section uh, on one end there. So, yep, that's the coaches. Uh, well, that's one of them anyway. Uh, I'll put the other coach and the loco onto the railway and uh, we'll get them running for you and uh, we'll see what you make of them. So, yep, yeah, let's give it a try. All right, so there she is then. There's the princess at least sitting on the line and she is very, very shiny and glossy as you can see. Uh, so much so that it's quite difficult to film her at times, but I, I will do my best, so my apologies for that. Uh, let me show you what else is going to be running on the line. First of all, the princess is going to be pulling not only the coaches uh, from the train set, uh, but also an additional three coaches. Um, I just thought it would be nice to make the rake up a little bit um, you know, I've ended up collecting quite a few of them, and uh, John from Chams123 gave me a couple as well. Um, <laughs> just like me, uh, he ended up with loads and loads of them, uh, and so he said, you know, the ones he doesn't use, he said I could have. Uh, so that makes quite a nice little rake of five there, and she'll couple up to those in just a second. Oh, on the other line, it's the same locomotive, uh, but obviously a different body uh, and a different uh, running number and name. Uh, that one's Princess Elizabeth, uh, and that's in BR Green, as you can see. But she's pulling for LMS coaches, which should look quite nice as well. And you'll see her running in just a second, uh, but first of all, let's do a little bit of a performance test on the Princess Victoria so that you can see uh, roughly how she runs. So here she goes, forwards a little bit first. As you can see, it's a pretty good crawl from her there. And backwards. There we go. X03 motor in there, of course. Well, X04 actually in this one. Um, so, very, very smooth considering that, I think. There we go. So, yeah, a very good runner. Um, but anyway, uh, let's couple up to the coaches. Uh, now, I know this is going to be very, very rickety <laughs> when it all gets going. 
Uh, but you know, that's what happens when you run the trying stuff with its original wheels. So anyway, she's coupled up, uh, so let's give her a go. And there they go, <laughs> bouncing along. Uh, but they do look pretty cool together. Let's get the other princess running as well then. And there she goes. So fingers crossed we don't get any derailments anyway. There she goes. And let's watch them go, shall we? Quite a lot of noise obviously coming from these coaches, but you know, it's all part of the fun. It takes quite a bit of power, as you can imagine, uh, to pull such coaches because there is a lot of drag coming from them. Uh, so she does a fantastic job, really, <laughs> you know, to pull them. She's going nice and slow up the back end there, but she will speed up a bit. There we go. Perhaps you need to speed her up a tad, actually. But uh, I don't want these coaches to fly too quickly. <laughs> But actually it is quite nice to see them go a little bit slower from time to time. Um, even if she is one of those locos, it probably looks a bit better at speed, but I might risk it. Might see. Also means she's a bit doddery on the points. You might see. There you go, yeah. <laughs> little bit of a cut out there. I think I will speed her up a tad, see how she gets on. There we go. A bit more of an express train speed there. Makes me nervous, but at least you can see that she does it. There we go. Oh dear. <laughs> God. Oh dear. Never mind. I'll pick up the pieces and then I'll, <laughs> I'll put them back together again. Uh, but yeah, you can see the points shook them apart in the end. Uh, but you know, <laughs> you know, that's just trying coaches for you, I suppose. All right, she's back in one piece again, uh, but obviously with those massive flanges on the wheels of the coaches, um, it does cause quite the rumble when they go over the points. But I'm hoping she'll be all right now. She's going a tad slower, which hopefully is all she needs, and that seems better. Alright, well that should about do it for today then everybody. I hope you enjoyed seeing one of those very old train sets. It is quite interesting to get those out once in a while. If you did like the video, please feel free to leave a like. 
or even a comment on the video because it's lovely to know whether you enjoyed it or not. But for now everybody, please feel free to check out the Facebook and Twitter pages if you'd like to. And they're at facebook.com forward slash samstrains or twitter.com forward slash samstrains. But I'll say goodbye for the time being. Thank you very much for watching as always and I'll see you very soon. Cheers everybody.